A hidden gem preserving prehistoric attractions from an abandoned Central Florida theme park. Yeah, News 6 anchor inside a guide Crystal Moyer takes us to Port Orange where visitors can see remnants of one of Florida's first theme parks. The 12 acres of Botanical Garden is quiet, filled with centuries-old oak trees, towering palm trees, and native Florida plants, attracting visitors like Jim and Cindy Thaluber, who happened to stumble upon it. Absolutely a little treasure sitting here. The paths that meander through the Botanical Garden part, and it's again, very, very peaceful. Dunlawton Sugar Mill Gardens is a hidden gem off Old Sugar Mill Road in Port Orange. The site of a 19th century sugar cane plantation now serves as a historic attraction, not just for its sugar mill ruins, old machinery on display and green but it's large dinosaur displays. You just don't anticipate that in this kind of a, a little place. They're what's left of a late 1940s theme park called Bongo Land, named after a resident baboon. The attraction featured a train ride, replica Native American village, and dinosaur themed exhibits. Bongo Land didn't even last five years. It shut down due to the lack of public interest. I can't imagine why. But four of its dinosaurs, like this 25 foot triceratops, remain here at the Dunlot and Sugar Mill Gardens, and you can check them out for free. Like this beady eyed ground sloth, T. the Dimetrodon, and spiked Stegosaurus. The structures were created by artist M.D. Manny Lawrence out of thin concrete and chicken wire. Some of the details on the structure are still visible to this day, while fragile and crumbling. This T-Rex statue collapsing in 2019. That was fun. <laughs> I had uh, absolutely no idea what to expect and then uh, read a little bit of the background about Bongo Land and uh, all makes sense. While it's the weather attracting visitors like Kathy and Ryan Kaiser to the Sunshine State. Snowing in Virginia. Yeah, so. It's hidden treasures like the Dunlawton Sugar Mill Gardens that make the trip memorable. It's really nice because there's not a lot of people. This attraction is owned by Volusia County and is free to visitors. It's maintained by volunteers and donations. You can check out more info on this botanical garden and the history of Bongo Land at clickorlando.com slash insider. And while you're there, let me know what hidden gems you want me to check out around Central Florida. You can let me know in the comment section. In Volusia County, Crystal Moyer, Getting Results, New 6.